one minute for everyone from the waiting room to enter. As a reminder, if you're not presenting, please mute yourself. Good morning. This is a hearing before the licensing board for the city of Boston. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd. Today's hearing is being conducted pursuant to temporary amendments to the open meeting law. That is what allows us to meet virtually. This hearing will be recorded and will be posted to the city of Boston's website. I will now introduce Chairwoman Kathleen Joyce. Good morning. Uh, my name is Kathleen Joyce. I'm Chair of the Licensing Board. Thank you all for joining us this morning. I am also joined by Commissioner Liam Curran and Commissioner Kiana Saxon. Calling Legal Seafoods LLC, doing business as Legal Oysteria, located at 10 City Square. Holder of a common vigilar seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the licensed business from Laura Ann Nardi to Maura P. Cavanaugh Daniel. Attorney Richard Heller. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair, members of the board. Rick Heller, Senior Vice President, General Counsel of Legal Seafood. This is a motion for change of manager to Maura Cavanaugh Daniels, who's had significant experience in the industry and has been with the company for seven years plus. Um, so she's present here to answer any questions of the board. Thank you. Um, Ms. Kavanaugh Daniel, are you a citizen? Yes, I am. Are you a resident of the Commonwealth? I am. And are you familiar with the rules and regulations of this board, the ABCC and the laws of the Commonwealth as they pertain to the sale and service of alcohol? Yes, I am. Okay. Are there any other changes to this license? Any operational changes? Not at this time. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, do you have any questions? All right, thank you very much. Thank you and appreciate again all the board's assistance in this time. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Calling Rovello LLC, doing business as Molinari's, located at 789 Adams Street. Holder of a neighborhood restricted common vicular wine and malt beverages license, has petitioned for a change of ownership interest. Secondly, has petitioned for new stockholder and transfer of stock. Thirdly, has petitioned to amend the description of the licensed business from one story building, first floor to be licensed, one large room of open floor kitchen and eat in area, one small room for kitchen prep, one entrance, one exit, storage and basement, amending two first floor area consisting of single door entrance with outside vestibule, open kitchen 326 square feet, 12 bar seats and table seating for 36, two bathrooms, wear washing kitchen 113 square feet, Prep kitchen, 232 square feet, and basement for dry storage, 2,000 square feet. Fourthly, has petitioned to change the location of the licensed business from 789 Adams Street to 787 to 789 Adams Street. Lastly, has petitioned to change the classification of the licensed business from Common Vigiler 7-Day Wine and Malt Beverages License to Common Vigiler 7-Day Wine and Malt Beverages with Liqueurs License, pursuant to the authority contained in Chapter 41 of the Acts of 1994. Attorney Lewis Cass. Good morning, uh, Madam Chairman, members of the board. This is Lewis Cassis. I'm with, with me is Jeffrey Sin Carter and Doreen Sin Carter, who are the owners of Ravello Incorporated. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Sorry. Um, the, the, the first application is for a change of ownership. Um, the, pr the prior owners were Jeffrey Sin Carter, 50%. In Allison Yablonski, 50%. And Allison Yablonski has sold her interest to Jeffrey and Doreen. So re the result would be that Jeffrey would be a 75% owner and Doreen would be a 25% owner. Doreen's been involved in the business since its inception and it would be a seamless change of ownership. Um, the, other, I think we're, the other petition we're asking for is they presently occupy 789 Adams Street. They've agreed with the landlord to take over the next store, um, sto a storefront, which is 787 at, um, Adams Street. It would increase their um, seating from uh, 27 seats with a 48 capacity to 48 seats with 72 capacity. Uh, prior, they had 12 tables. The addition would add four more tables. And thirdly, they're asking for a change the classification of their license from a wine and malt uh, common victuals license to a wine and malt common victual license with cordials. Thank you, Attorney Cassis. Um, 
I have a couple of questions for your client. Sure. Can you see them? They're behind me. We we don't we don't see you either. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't know why. Um, let me. We can hear you. We can see your name. You see me now? No. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um. How long have have they been in operation at this location? Can you answer that, Jeff? We're in our fifth year. Fifth year uh, starting June uh, 3rd. Okay. And um, the need for the expansion? Uh, space. We needed more space. Okay. Um, any changes to operations? Well, everything is the same as it was from day one. Same style, same menu. And the reason for the transfer of the stock? Uh, I had. I had purchased all the assets for my partner. Okay. I wanted to be involved in the operation. Okay. And so you said with the expansion, it's going to be um, 16 tables and 48 seats. Is that correct? Uh, yes, correct. If they're adding four tables to the present 12. Okay. Okay. Um, Thank you very much. Um, Commissioner Curran or Commissioner Saxon? Is there anyone here who wishes to testify in support of this application? Is there anyone here who wishes to testify in opposition to this application? Leslie, do we need any more information? Yep, the board will take this under advisement. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Calling Food for Thought LLC, doing business as Food for Thought Test Kitchen, located at 567 Bennington Street, has applied for a common Michelin seven-day all-alcoholic beverages license to be exercised in the above, on one floor in one room, one bathroom, divided by open kitchen and dining room space, total approximately 1,020 square feet, Sunday through Thursday, 11 p.m. closing hour, Friday and Saturday, midnight closing hour. Lastly, has petitioned for an approval of a management agreement between Stephen Skyer doing business as Sammy Carlos Delicatessen and Catering Inc. and Food for Thought LLC doing business as Food for Thought Test Kitchen. Manager J. J. Gray, closing hour midnight. Is the applicant present? Yes, members of the board, Madam Secretary, can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Thank okay, <laughs> that's good progress. So, first of uh, foremost, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of you hearing us in this difficult time. Um, we know that there's a lot more important things going on in the world, but I just wanted to say thank you and taking the time out of your schedule to hear us out. Um, we applied originally for a beer and wine license back in January, um, which at what time we were, I guess, approved. And what happened was there was no license for the board to grant us at that time. Um, so what happened was we were granted a BYOB status along with our common vicular, um, and we wound up opening March 5th, and unfortunately were shut down March 15th due to the COVID pandemic, um, which was very devastating. We had to unfortunately retreat back up to Maine, which we own a uh, seven-day outdoor full liquor license and restaurant up there, um, which we've been operating now on our third season, which we reopened in June. This summer, we had yet again over 30,000 people into our 32 seat restaurant. And I'd be happy to tell you that we haven't had one issue with COVID-19 at all at our restaurant. Um, we wear gloves, we wear masks, we sanitize everything. We do the operation the right way. And yet again, donated 5% of our income to battle opioid addiction issues in Maine. We're petitioning here to the board to please give us any opportunity to be able to receive an all liquor license. Our business depends on it we will not be able to continue operations in the city of Boston if we do not receive a license. We've applied for all liquor, but we are looking for anything. We are looking for help in our time of need. We're looking for an all liquor, if there is a restricted license, if there is a malt and wine license, we're just asking the board for help in this situation because we've operated the last three weeks with outdoor dining and no indoor seating because we do not want to put our staff at risk and we do not want to put our customers at risk. And with the cold weather coming, we will not be able to maintain operations. This license is dependent on us surviving. I've been an experienced operator and I know how to do everything the right way. We also will be giving back money to the community. 
I grew up in Beacon Hill. I'm born and raised in Boston. I've lived in East Boston for 10 years previous to opening this restaurant. I care deeply about the neighborhood. Our food is amazing, and we're just simply looking to be able to serve alcohol so we can survive in these tough times. I appreciate that. Again, licenses, um, it's a fluid thing. They, they come in, and we're not sure at any one point if we have a license available that you've applied for. Can you remind me? I do remember your um, application from earlier in this year. How many seats you have? Uh, we have 40 seats is what we're licensed for. Um, we would be operating under that capacity due to the COVID restrictions of spacing out tables six feet apart. Right now we're operating outdoor seating, um, which we have about 22 seats outside um, for now. And again, this license would obviously change that. We might look into doing limited indoor seating, um, but we would obviously stay under our 40 seats. San Carlos Deli, which we're operating out of, is one of the oldest restaurants in the entire city of Boston. And when we came together with them to open this restaurant, it was something where we're looking towards the future as well. And we're looking to not only survive ourselves, but also help our landlords and help the business that's been there since 1927. And when, I'm um, just curious, when did you start opening up for outdoor seating? Uh, we opened up two weeks ago. Um, was our first uh, first date. And we're operating just simply Thursday through Sunday right now, um, trying to focus on the busiest days. We're doing to-go food. Um, we're also doing outdoor dining and obviously BYOB, which is bringing your own beer or wine. And we follow all the guidelines for BYOB. We check IDs. We do everything the right way. How is that going? Unfortunately, it's difficult. It's something where um, it really is one of those situations where having people sit outside and outdoor um, even with heaters, which we, you know, apply and we're approved for our license from the city of Boston. It's just difficult. People in this situation, as we've seen up in Maine, people are willing to come out and support the restaurant when the weather is good. And we have amazing food. My chef is very talented. Our food is different from anyone in the city. We serve things like Nashville hot chicken ramen, and it just doesn't exist anywhere. And it's very exciting food and it's affordable, but without alcohol, it's one of those things where people like to drink and without being able to pour our own alcohol and utilize our, our relationships with everyone in craft beer. I mean, we know everyone in the craft beer world and we've built these relationships over the last 10 years and the beer list that we would be able to produce would really generate people coming in. It would make a huge difference for us. So can you, I don't know if anyone else from your, um, anyone else's journey today. I'm just trying to get a better idea of what you're offering and how this license would be helpful to um, what you offer at your restaurant compared to other restaurants in the neighborhood. Yes. Um, so basically with our the last five years, I've spelt, spent numerous hours uh, building relationships with all the craft breweries that are in the greater Boston area, as well as Maine, from everybody from Vitamin C in Weymouth to JC, who owns Trillium. These are very good friends of ours, and they're people that have pledged their support. And one of those things is being able to pour those beers will be able to get people into our restaurant and keep us afloat. The last two weeks, to be frankly honest with you, we've generated $3,000 in income and operating. It's just not sustainable. It's not something that we're going to be able to keep doing for more than a few more months. Um, and especially with outdoor dining going away, we don't have the ability to be able to get people in with just doing to-go food. We're going to have to shut down our outdoor dining at some point in November when it gets too cold for people to be able to come in. And we just don't feel comfortable at this point having people inside. And even with that being the case, we don't believe that people would be showing up if we do not have the ability to pour alcohol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Saxon, Commissioner Curran, do you have any questions about this application? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, is there anyone here who wishes to testify in support? Madam Chair, members of the board, Shanice Pimentel, on behalf of my colleague, Lena Tremelli. Um, this proposal was supported by the East Boston Main Streets and Harborview Neighborhood Association, as well as the Butters, from a meeting held on October 10th, 2019. Um, this proposal has been well vetted by the community, and at this time, we have no further questions and con or concerns, and the mayor's office would like to go on record in support. Thank you. Yes, also, I'm Gladys Oliveros from East Boston Main Streets, and I'm here to support uh, uh, 
uh, this project. And thank you, Lina and her colleague, to mention it. And I'd like to be in record. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. There's one other person. I can't tell if you wish to speak. Your name is, appears as Kathy. I think you're on mute. He's on mute. But I bet you he's the chef or something. I, no, I believe that's Steve, uh, the owner of the deli. Oh, okay. Steve, we Kathy can't hear is, Steve. Kathy is his wife. <laughs> okay. There you go, Steve. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. I was in the process of changing the name. Kathy's my wife. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about I it. Mentioned, <laughs> while I mentioned Kathy, we're both in support of Jay and Chef Brad. They've done a great job. They have a great trendy menu, menu um, something that nobody else has. It's a great asset to the community. Um, people do want to come out and eat, but they also want, they want a factor where something will pull them out to come on, out and eat. And everybody wants, you know, it's a casual drink, casual glass of wine, casual beer. Especially beers that are out now with all the um, IPAs and all the uh, breweries, um, it's something to offer. It's, it's not, it's a different, you know, it's a different um, situation nowadays. It's not like um, back when, you know, I'm, I'm an old timer, but, you know, back, you know, people aren't looking out to get, get drunk anymore. It's like, it's really quality ales and quality beers and you're not looking to serve just shots and beers. It's not that type of. Uh, society now so he has a really um chef brad does a really good job of the menu and jay does a really good job um orchestrating everything else and i think it'd be an asset to the community um i think it'll help you know we have like a split uh, business here where i operate during the day he comes in at night and works out well so i want to support as well as my wife and myself uh, you know jay and uh, brad chef brad thank you appreciate thank you. your um joining us today it sounds like a very unique concept with the deli right next door um, it's very unfortunate timing of when you opened, um, and we'll take this application under consideration as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. There are no other items before the board today. All these items will be taken under consideration and voted on at tomorrow's voting hearing. Thank you all for joining us.